All right, feel your face now. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what? What's going down, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be doing another face shave on a woman. Now, the woman in today's video is Filipino. She's Filipino mixed with white, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's just go with that. But as far as the actual video goes, you guys can find all the products that I use to perform the service at EasyBladeShaverProducts.com. Yes, you guys can order each product individually, or you can order the Royal Kit. Uh, now, the Royal Kit includes the shaving gel, the shave oil, the shaving cream, the aftershave spray, and I think the aftershave lotion, I might be mistaken. Uh, but just click the link down below. It'll take you directly to the website where you can order the products individually Or like I said, you guys can order the royal kit. But other than that, hopefully you guys do enjoy Leave a like if you did subscribe if you're new. Let's get into the video All right, so as always first things first we have to start out with the pre-shave treatment now Our main objective with the pre-shave treatment is to remove all the contaminants off the top layer of the skin Such as oils makeup sweat dirt anything that's going to get in the way of the razor and the hair And our next step is to apply some Easy Blaze Shave Oil. What the shave oil is going to do is going to begin to soften up the hair. It's going to create a foundation of lubrication and moisture. Uh, we want some type of lubrication because we're going to be massaging the face before the actual shave and you have to have some type of lubrication. And the last step before the actual shave, we're going to apply some Easy Blaze Shaving Gel. Yes, we already applied some shave oil, but when you combine the oil with the gel, you get twice the action. So the hair is going to be extra soft, the skin is going to be extra lubricated, allowing that razor to glide a lot easier. And as far as the actual shave itself, our main objective is to never cut the skin. That's my biggest worry when I'm performing this service is to never cut the client. You never want to nick the skin by any means. So I have two tips to avoid that. The first tip, keep the razor at a flat angle. I would say at a 15 to 20 degree angle, maybe a little bit higher. You never want to go higher than like a 45 degree angle because you run the risk of the razor getting caught. And when the razor gets caught, it's typically going to leave a nick in the skin. And the second tip that I have for you guys is to pull the skin with your opposite hand. So as you guys can see, I'm right handed. So with my left thumb, I'm going to pull the skin tight. And what that's going to do is going to eliminate any slack or any wrinkles in the skin, allowing that razor to glide evenly across the skin.
And like I told you guys in previous videos, anytime I get around the chin area with the straight razor, I get so much anxiety. The more I talk about it, the more I tell you guys I get nervous, every time I go to do it now, it's even worse. I get more nervous, I get more anxiety. Uh, so if I get nervous doing this and I'm trying to teach you guys how to do this, just imagine how you guys are gonna feel. So just be careful, uh, take your time, pull the skin, uh, because the chin has dimples and bumps and is rounded, and some people have butt chin. So every time I get around the chin area, I get so much anxiety, so just be careful. Now, I don't know if you guys have already wrote a comment or whatever the case may be, but even before I sat her down, I was like, yo, your skin is ridiculously flawless. I don't know what your skincare routine is, but I need it. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't see not one wrinkle. I didn't see a blemish, a mole, a acne scars, nothing. Her skin was completely flawless before I even started. Now afterwards, as you guys will see at the end of the video, yes, I have her skin glowing, her tones a lot more even but her skin, her complexion, literally flawless. Now when it comes to the sideburn area, every woman has their different preference and with this client in particular, she didn't really express how she wanted them done particularly. Uh, so I just took matters into my own hands. I shaved off everything that was underneath the baby hairs. And what I mean by baby hairs, all the long hairs that she can possibly curl up, do something with, I just left those and shaved off everything up under there. Then as you guys can see, I go in with my shears to kind of blend out this sideburn a little bit. I never want to leave a harsh lineup somewhat like a guy, so with these shears, I'm just trying to make it look as natural as possible. And as you guys can see, I am wearing gloves in today's video. I will continue to wear gloves throughout the rest of the services. It is a lot more professional looking, but not only that, it does serve a huge purpose. 
uh, especially with my hands i wash my hands so many times a day and with gloves it just eliminates the exposure of the shave oil the shaving gel any hair any bacteria so after i'm done shaving i will throw away the glove i will wash my hands even though it's not necessary i am wearing gloves but i just never want to cross contaminate the the skin so all those contaminants that were on her face they're now onto the glove my hands and I never want to bring those contaminants onto a freshly shaven, clean face. So that's the main reason behind wearing gloves. So after you get done applying the face wash to the skin, what we're gonna do is grab our exfoliating deep cleansing brush. And the main purpose of this is to exfoliate the skin while achieving the best, deepest clean we possibly can. And now that the skin is completely clean, we're gonna go in with the aftershave spray from Easy Blade. What this does, it helps with any irritation, fights off any redness, but it's also adding a layer of moisture to the skin. Now to help with dark circles, promote anti-aging and revitalize the eye region, we're gonna apply an eye serum. Now if you're wondering why there's a censored logo on top of her nostrils, with this camera view, you could literally see up her nostrils to her brain and to be sensitive to my client's privacy, you guys do not need to see that. Now to help with any redness, scarring, and wrinkles, we're going to apply some rose oil. Now if you guys have never heard of this, it's probably my favorite product in my whole inventory. It just improves the elasticity of the skin so much, it, it deeply moisturizes the skin, but it just leaves that skin with that glowy effect, and that's what I look for in a post-shave serum. And the last product that we're gonna apply to the face to add moisture is this Easy Blade Aftershave Lotion. Once again, you guys can find all these products at EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. I do have a 10% off promo code for you guys, so at checkout, just type in E Jones TV and you will receive 10% off your whole purchase. Now the absolute last step of this whole process is to go in with the frozen jade stone roller. Yes, it's actually frozen. I do keep it in the freezer because the coldness of it combined with the rolling action, it's gonna iron out any wrinkles and fine lines. It's gonna shrink the pores, locking in all that moisture that we just applied. But most importantly, it's gonna relax the face by relieving any of the tension and aches in the facial muscles itself.
feel your face now? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? I feel like a baby's bottom. Feel different? Yeah, I can feel it though, like even before. You know what I mean? Like the You just feel it? Yeah. Like, breeze? like the air, yeah. Yeah. Alright. That's insane. Oh my god, my skin looks so good. I told you. I'm like glowing from within. <laughs> But that's gonna do for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure you smack the thumbs up button for me if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment on the way out. Um, the next video that you guys will see on this channel is the 300,000 subscriber giveaway video. So if you or anyone you know is interested in winning some barber shit basically, uh, just make sure you stay tuned for the next video. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.